All right, hi doers, welcome back. Now it's time to set up your IoT boxes. That's right, we purchased our very own Raspberry Pi devices, and in this tutorial, we'll go over how to flash an image onto it so that we can flash it as a Odoo IoT device. Now we recommend the Raspberry Pi because of its low cost, versatility, and because it's like really tiny. I mean, look at this. But there's also an option to set up a virtual Windows IoT, which we cover in another video, so be sure to check that out. Now, the process to flash the device is actually pretty simple. First, we'll install some free software to flash the drive. Then, we'll download the newest Odoo IoT image. We'll basically select the image, we'll insert and select the drive, and then we'll flash the drive. It's really that simple. Aside from setting up a new IoT device, another reason you might want to flash an updated image to your IoT device is if you're having trouble getting the pairing code during your IoT setup. Since the IoT box is a tiny, powerful computer, it needs up-to-date software to run smoothly. So, enough chit-chat. Let's get into it. Alright, Odoo. So first things first, we need to install some special software to flash our drive with the newest IoT image. Now, the good news is that this is open source. And it is free. Free, Odoo. So it won't cost you anything. Alright, so we'll navigate to Polina.io. Then we'll go to Products in the top menu. And select Polina Etcher Program. Now, be sure to download the latest version based on your operating system. Another option also is to use the Raspberry Pi imaging software. All right, now in our case, I've already installed the Etcher program on this computer to save us time. But in case that you haven't, open the software, download the program, and follow the steps to install it. Now up next, we need to download the latest IoT image to flash to the device. Odoo keeps a directory of IoT images, which can be found by navigating to the link on the screen. Now. This link is also listed in our documentation. Now, the image we'd like to download should be named IoTBox-Latest.Zip. Now, it should be noted that each Odoo version is compatible with a specific IoT version. The, the download page contains multiple versions, and the date mentioned is also the date of the version launch. Now, for this video, I've already downloaded the most current file and unzipped it. So, we just have essentially the image file that we have in front of us. Okay, now it's actually the fun part. Let's get this image onto our micro SD card. So you actually want to take it out of your Raspberry Pi first. And that's how we'll start the process. We'll open up Etcher. All right, you're going to need one of these micro SD card readers. So be sure you have that so you can complete this process. All right, our doers, as we saw earlier, there are three simple steps that we essentially need to do in order to complete the flash. Now, first, I'll select our image from the local computer by clicking on Flash from File. Now then, I'll go ahead and select the image we just pulled up. All right, up next, and this is important, I'll insert the micro SD card into the reader and our computer on the side and select target to flash. All right, we're almost finished, but don't worry. Now, lastly, we flash it, so I'm gonna select flash. And it may take a few moments to format and to copy the files to your SD card, so remember to be patient. All right, to confirm that the drive and the flashing was successful, let's fire this puppy up. Now remember when working with the IoT box, make sure to plug in all devices before you power it on. So in our case, we're going to insert and attach everything. And we can see the Pi boot up and a browser populates with the wording Odoo IoT box in it. Now next, this process can take some time, so be patient. And whatever you do, do not turn it off, Odooers. I can't, I can't tell you that enough. If you do, it'll leave it in an inconsistent state and nobody wants that. And there you have it, Odooers. I mean, one freshly baked, or in this case, flashed box over here, and Odoo IoT is already set up on our Raspberry Pi. Now, we recommend a fresh reboot of the unit after it's connected to the database for good measure. Now, be sure to check out Odoo's user documentation for more detailed steps on how to flash your IoT box SD card and to update your software. Now, today we saw how to flash our IoT box for use with Odoo and the databases. Now stay tuned for other tutorials on IoT basics and how to connect the IoT box to your database. Now thank you for watching everyone. See you in the next video.